Welcome to Fortree Farm Guide. Today, I'm so excited because I'm going to be discussing with you how to use a potent herb here with me called Tangeri. So today, we will be discussing how to use Tangeri extract for your chicken, its benefits for your chicken and how to prepare it. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. As I said earlier, we will be discussing how to use Tangeri extract for your chicken, the benefits of Tangeri extract for your chicken and how to prepare it. So, what is tangerine extract? Tangerine extract is a, an extract given to chicken to ward off viral diseases like Newcastle and Gumburu. Tangerine extract can be found in Damia in West Africa just freely. You don't buy it. You can, you can, it, it grows on its own. Now, what can this thing do for a chicken? At this time of recording this video, there is no scientific proof of an uh, experiment on tangerine, but that does not weaken the medicinal potency of a uh, tangerine because most a survey was done in parts of uh, Nigeria, Ikiti State, and Ugu State, and the uh, Ocean State, about uh, the locals there. Women over there have uh, a test to eat potency as well as being used in several livestock to ward off or prevent viral diseases. So I even say this most of the in most of the stores where they sell herbs and roots I also see tangerine there and I've seen so many locals using it for their livestock including chickens. So on today's video we're just gonna talk about how to prepare tangerine extract. So without no further ado I'll just go to my table and show you how you can prepare it. So, we're here on the table. I have my, my knife, my bowl, and some water here. So, what am I going to do? What I'm going to do now is I have two balls of tangerine. So, I'm just going to slice, peel off the back. The back is very strong, as you can see. So, it's very strong. So, I have to peel it off. Almost done with the second one. Done. So I'm going to slice it. So this is what I have here, our tangerine. I'm going to allow this to ferment for like five days or four days after fermentation. I'll bring it out and mash it with my hands. Mash it with my hand, then I will just filter the water off. Okay, where you put water, you make sure the water is just slightly above the ratio of missing is a uh, two to one but i don't have my way here but it doesn't matter if you want to measure the water if this is one kg also your liter of water should weigh two kg that's the ratio two ratio one all i make sure is not necessary uh, what you don't have to do make sure that the water is covering the tangerine above this yes Start is covering it on the middle line. You see that the water is covering the tangerine above. It's enough. So, this make sure that the water, when you soak the tangerine, at least the water is on top of the tangerine. So, you can use this. It's enough like this. And then you can cover this with a mesh. Okay, but I'm just going to use this. I'll put some of this here and see. Let me use this container. I'm going to cover this now for like four days for you to ferment very well. And for this time, we're coming back. Serve it to my chickens. So let's wait for five days. Yes, I'm going to use five days. Five days is perfectly okay. So today is the fifth day for fermentation. So let us it and see how far it has fermented. So, come closer. So, this is the tangerine after five days of fermentation. So, I'm going to squeeze it, grind it. You can use your blender. I'm going to use my hand to squeeze out this juice and filter it out. I have my filter here. So, at this stage, I'm not going to add any water while I'm trying to extract the juice. I'm just going to extract it with the normal water here. Remember, the ratio of water to tangerine we use was uh, one ratio two, that is one twice, the water should be twice the weight of the tangerine or Christmas melon. So today I'm just going to filter it out. Ah, it's 
смисъл of... Това е много интересно. 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 You can just cut it as we did and leave it for five days to ferment. Then you gradually allow the water to seep out. So, so as you can see, I'm almost blend, done blending it. Move closer. So this is just the shaft running on the seed. I can dry out the seed and the give it to the birds as a dewormer. Okay, I think we are done. So take a look at the seeds here. Yes. So what we have here is the pure tangerine tangerine water. Christmas melon or white melon extracts. It is tangerine extract for your chicken. Used for treating viral diseases in poultry beds like Gumboro, Newcastle disease, Marek disease. So I'm just going to put it here for preservation. So it's not necessary you must use your blender. You see, I did not use blender. I just use my hand to gently sieve and blend it and sieve it out. These are tangerine extracts. So you can use for your chicken. You see how I extracted it with that blend. You can use blender. After cutting your tangerine extract, you can blend it, sieve it, and keep for fermentation. Or if you don't have blender, you can simply cut it and ferment it the way I did, and gently use your sieve to sieve out the water. By then, the tangerine cuts or pieces uh, might have softened, so you can just use your hand and uh, blend it, and the water will see that. And you have this extract here. So, the next thing is preservation you can preserve it using refrigeration, or you can refrigerate it. The second method of preservation is uh, black stripe molasses, it's, it is sold in the market, it is gotten from sugar cane, so it is sold in the market. It's a good preservative, you can preserve it up to four months. While refrigerating it will take about one month to preserve its refrigeration will take one month. Why black molasses will take four months. So I prefer black striped molasses for preservation. How do you use black striped molasses? The ratio should be one ratio three. That is one liter of uh, black striped molasses to three liter of tangerine extracts. The preservative method to using black molasses is one ratio three. How do you use it? Preventive measure you use 10 ml to one liter. While for treatment you use 30 ml to one liter. If you find this video helpful please click the like button, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you in my next video.